Hello fellow problem solvers. So today I want to talk to you about the first ever Chef Scholars Winter Math Camp that we're organizing. And I want to walk you through the website, like the information it has on there, and then just like talk a bit more about it. So to walk you through everything that's happening. So this is the first time we're going to be doing this. And hopefully if this goes well, in terms of like how much interest we get, like who we the types of classes, the feedback we get, we can even improve, get better, and then hopefully even create another one later on. But now let us move on to going through the camp and what is it that we offer. So now let's do this. So this is the join the first chef scholars. You're gonna, if you go to chefscholars.com, you see the join the first chef scholars winter math camp. And yeah, that's a picture of me in one of the thumbnails. Learn how to think when solving math problems. Attend live lectures held by former competitors, such as myself. At least one lecture you will be have with me. Do problem sets, learn problem solving techniques, and meet mathletes from around the world. So the last part is actually saying that I'll talk about more later, but it is something that you can also see potentially in some of the testimonials that some of the mathletes that went through Chef Scholars before actually said is one of the things that was great about the program. So there's an early bird discount which gives you at least 75% off at for 75% off for the premium version and over 77% for the regular uh, version. So $80, $500. Uh, and this ends by the end of Monday. So Monday, the 27th. The math camp will be, if we look at the schedule, it will be January 31st till February 2nd, and then again, February 7th till February 9th. 2025 so start soon now the big thing about this is you have okay the four tracks beginner apprentice machine chef so let us look at the beginner so what it will give you is sort of you'll see the schedule okay we have some gauss some trick algebraic transformations review of common pigeonhole combinatorial combinatorics games that find 10 equations divisibility okay and then for one you'll be able to even see okay what is divisibility what does the handout look like oh so you first get sometimes you'll see some you know intro to okay we have some rules for this prime factorization thing about divisibility say if the number is divisible by 60 it's enough for us to check if it's divisible by the powers of its primes so that is two squared three and five Check is if divisible by four. Uh, so the rule for four is last two digits are divisible by four and then for three and nine well, and five and so on. So this is what an example of a handout is. And then you can see, okay, are these things that you know very easily to do? If it is, then you might wanna go to see the apprentice level, right? Does the apprentice level have something more interesting for you? Something that pushes you a bit more? If this is like, oh, I'm actually stretched. I don't know how I would solve problem number four. Then the idea is, okay, this might be great for you. Now, uh, a big part of what we're doing here is also limiting it to 15 students per track. Why? Because we want you, when you're at the lecture, to be able to have a conversation with the lecturer. And a big part of what we're trying to do is teach you how to think. So, okay, we show you some ideas, some rules, and then it's not just apply them, like in problem number one, okay, divisible by 36, so it means by four and nine. The rules are four, this is four, nine. And then, okay, so what needs to happen then? A isn't equal to zero. B, what can B be? So it needs to be divisible by four, so one, and B needs to be divisible by four. What are the options for B, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, but there's also questions such as number four, wait, how do I even begin this? You know, that's not something that we teach here. There's no number divisible by seven rule. Um, but something that you should sort of think about. What about this part? Now, this is a problem that you, is about divisibility. We're giving you that as a hint but you get to see, okay, you need, you need to think, what should I be even looking at here? What do I need to look at in this whole problem? So these are some just 
an overview of ideas. And what we really try to do is encourage you to show your reasoning, show your thinking, so that you can then solve other problems that you haven't seen before, that you don't know the technique for. And what we will have at each point is on a Sunday, a review. So if you have any questions, anything that wasn't clear, and say in the review of number three, anything that wasn't clear in divisibility or in Alphantine equations, we go through it here. You ask questions, we talk. And if nobody has any questions or a way to, or some motivation that you want to know about, or didn't fully get something, then we even might give you some other problems there that you don't know or haven't seen before, right? And that will help you even you get better at number theory and then geometry. We also have this concept of group work, which is we're basically going to allow you to all of you to be on the same video call and try to work together and go through either reviewing the visibility if some uh, we're going through some problems that we haven't solved in the lecture or go through the Feinstein equations, you know, try to talk a bit more about what is it that you've tried, what is it that you've done, you know, and this is you know, very much optional for you, but we encourage you to attend. And at one point, some lecturer might attend a group work to just double check at some point, see if somebody needs anything, if there's any questions, how things are going, but this is very much optional, might not happen every time, but it will happen at least once for each group. So we now have the two options, right? The regular one is you pick a track, you have two tests that you need to complete by the end of the camp, and we will try to grade them also as soon as we can, as soon as we get them, to give you feedback. Our ideal is that you complete one by February 3rd and another one by February 8th, so that you can, we can actually give you some feedback and so you can test yourself at taking tests and see how much it is you're learning, improving, what's happening, are you getting better, all right? You'll have access to all the 12 live lectures and lecture recordings. So if you can't make, say, a specific lecture, say this is on Friday at free GMT plus one, oh no. What will happen? There'll be a recording, you will have access to it, and everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. So that is very important to note. Just because you miss something doesn't mean you will not have access to a recording. And of course, you do not share that recording with anybody. This is something that you will get to keep yourself for at least, you know, I think six months um, after the end of the program, which you'll have access to. So after that, we have also eight problem sets. So we have two problem sets from each of the areas. Geometry, number theory, combinatorics, and algebra, for each of the groups, and you get access to all those problem sets. And then finally, you also have an optional 15 minute session for the parents to talk to us to discuss their child's math journey before the program completion. So, we'd like to talk to the parents of the people looking at this program because we want to understand better you know, the student, what the math competition journey is like, what are their goals ambitions, how they even got into competitive math, and what is it that they need so that we can potentially better adapt future programs, future iterations, and better fit our students' needs. Now that is the regular experience. And then there's the premium one, which is, again, $500, this is $80 if you do it by the end of Monday, I think is the 27th. But here you have access to all the tracks. So this is like you have access to all of this. You go through all of this. Uh, two tests that you must complete before the end of the camp. Access to all 48 live lectures and their recordings. Access to all 32 problem sets. And again, optional 15 minutes. So this is just, you know, you're having access to everything. You can look at everything here. Uh, there might be some weaknesses whatnot, but I think the biggest parts are these two. Four personalized 30 minute sessions with the chef that you need, that you have six months to do. So this is four times 30 minutes with me that you get. And uh, you also get four customized problem sets. So you want the problem set, say on, uh, say you're bad at inversion and harmonic points. If we're doing something more advanced and I give you then, okay, here's a, couple of problems in the two areas. Or you say you want a problem 
problems from, uh, say, some divisibility and our finite equations. Like you really want to like do more on that. We give we make a customized problem set for you such that you can learn and practice your skills. Now, why choose us? We've already actually helped uh, free students get to the IMO. We have two of them got an honorable mention and one got a silver medal. So this is just great. You know, we have a we've proven a track record. And I think the two students that had the honorable mention, um, I think their experiences are one of them even made a video about a testimonial on in which ways the program was helpful and how we were helpful. Again, you have expert instructors, people who are former math competitors. That's a big one because we know how to think. We've done this before. We have a wealth of experience and knowledge that we can go and share and talk to you and answer questions in depth, which is something that is not common, right? Unless you've done these math competitions. It's intensive, so very quick. It goes by very quickly. It will be intensive and hopefully you will be able to learn and digest things even after the program, and you'll be able to join a thriving community. So you will have, you'll meet people from potentially around the world, I mean, we hope so, that will join this, and then you may, might be able to form connections with other mathletes and maybe build a couple of friendships. I know in the last thing that we run, the last Chef Scholars iteration, after the whole program ended, a couple of students, I think it was three or four of them, still regularly met together. I think it was like months after this and would you know, do some problem solving sessions with each other. Right. So that was and that's an amazing thing that can happen organically. Right? And this is because you're like they're from different countries and they help each other out. Hopefully they all meet at the IMO one day. Right, but that is the big idea. Live interactive sessions, you engage in real time. You talk to people, these are small classes, and they're live, you can interact, ask questions. You don't understand something, you tell us, we go through it, explain it. Here you'll be able to find some testimonials, some videos, here's an FAQ session, age range. We'd like you to be at least at least 14 to 19, um, a decent foundation in mathematics. You can pick a preference on how you got to go through a track, and we can also make suggestions. And there is a limit of 15 per group. This is the only hard limit we have. And there's no other hard limit, right? So now, and this will all happen on a first come first served basis. Like if we find somebody that like fits our apprentice, then there's less, there's one less spot. I think while I was making this video, I need to update this in the sense that I think we're accepting at least one student that's an apprentice uh, now, but I need to go through the application after making this. Now, say you want to apply, so let's apply. Let's look at the application itself. Your first name, last name, your email address, date of birth, simple. This is a country from where you're competing. It's usually a country of residence. Now, this is the scrape from the IMO official website. So I just look at all the countries that they had and put them on. If it's not here, just put another and we will you know, talk about it. See, is there something that we can potentially do here? Uh, even if it's another country, right? That's not, that we haven't found on the IMO uh, webpage. Maybe we missed something. Or maybe it's not there yet, but potentially in the future, it could be there. Maybe we can help with that. Who knows? A uh, last IMO you could technically go to and your math competition goals. We're gonna get a sense of what you actually want. Last three years of math competition results, if any, this is just for us to get to know a bit more about your level, what you know, what are your weaknesses, strengths, perhaps. And then, you know, the level you're applying for, regular or premium. And you, of course, you need to read and accept these terms and conditions. And then you click, yay, let's do this. So now with that, please go ahead and try to finish up this application as soon as possible. Uh, this will be, I think, a wonderful thing. Uh, and I hope to see you on the other side. And please, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments below and we will hopefully stick them on the website. And hopefully before the early bird discount ends. And with that, 
As always, thanks for problem solving.